Hi there, I'm Gilbert Jackson, and today on Fireside Reading, we finish chapter 52 of David Copperfield. Very satisfying because finally Uriah Heep is beaten. He is forced by Traddles. Traddles comes up, really is fantastic in this chapter. He's calm and he authoritatively tells Uriah Heep what's going to happen. And Uriah Heep, who ultimately is just a coward, is forced into doing what he's told. He is going to make restitution for all the money he's stolen, and uh, Traddles is on it, and it's just wonderful. Everybody, Micawber is so happy. Everybody follows Micawber to his house, and there's a great reunion with his wife. And then uh, Aunt Betsy takes one look at Micawber's family, and suggests that they all emigrate to Australia too. If you remember, the Mr. Peggotty and little Emily are, and Miss Gummidge are going to emigrate to Australia. So she suggests that they all go together. Um, Dickens always does wrap up his stories, which is so convoluted in such great ways, and it was just so satisfying to realize that this might actually happen. Don't know if it's going to happen yet, but it seems like it will. Um, this book is just really lovely. The characters are fantastic. Please join us. We have uh, several more chapters to go, um, and uh, these are some of the most fun chapters of any Dickens novel. So uh, join us if you'd like. We read live every day at Fireside Reading on Instagram at 5 Pacific. All the chapters uploaded to the YouTube channel Fireside Reading. And I also want to thank everyone for your incredible support of my first uh, professional fireside reading, which is now available, uh, of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, unabridged and in all its beauty. You can buy the DVD or you can get uh, it on VOD, on Vimeo, or you can ask your library to get it for you. Uh, and thank you all for your incredibly generous support.